I'm Michelle Mikes, the K-12 Mathematics Supervisor for the Cobb County School District. Our district is committed to helping students succeed, and you as parents are an integral part of this process. To help keep you informed about what your child is learning in our math classrooms, we are excited to provide you with these informational videos on concepts taught throughout the school year. Thank you for taking the time to discover ways to support your students' learning. Welcome to the fifth grade decimals parent video. My name is Miranda Westbrook, K-5 professional learning specialist for the Cobb County School District. In unit two, students further their understanding of the place value system by recognizing that in a multi-digit number, a digit in one place represents 10 times as much as it represents to its right and one tenth of what it represents in the place to its left. Students also read, write, and compare decimals to the thousandths place and use their understanding of place value to round decimals up to the hundredths place. In the final part of the unit, students add and subtract decimals to the hundredths place using concrete models or drawings and strategies based on place value and the properties of operations. Students relate their strategy to a written method and explain their reasoning. At the fifth grade level, concepts are emphasized from a hands-on approach in order to develop understanding rather than relying on memorization of rules and procedures. By the conclusion of Unit 2, students should be able to understand place value concepts and the relationships between digits to the thousandths place, accurately place decimals on a number line, compare and order decimals using terms and symbols for greater than, less than, or equal to, demonstrate a conceptual understanding of addition and subtraction with decimals to the hundredths as opposed to relying on procedural knowledge. For example, students should understand that just as we add and subtract like place value positions with whole numbers, we need to add and subtract like place value positions with decimals, use knowledge of decimals to solve problems, and use estimation to determine the reasonableness of answers. In the first segment of the video, let's investigate the place value system and the values of the digits to the right and left of each other. To model problems with decimals concretely, we will use base 10 blocks. The unit cube will represent the hundredths, the rod will represent the tenths, the flat will represent the ones, and the large cube will represent tens. This standard calls for students to reason about the magnitude of numbers. In fourth grade, students recognize that in a multi-digit whole number, a digit in any one place represents 10 times what it represents in the place to its right. For example, in the number 547,732, students should recognize that the value of the seven in the thousands place is 7,000 and the value of the seven in the hundreds place is 700. 700 times 10 equals 7,000, so the value of the 7 in the thousands place is 10 times greater than the 7 in the hundreds place. In fifth grade, students continue to build on this concept with decimals. Additionally, they explain the idea that a digit in one place is one-tenth of what it represents in the place to its left. Let's look at an example with the number 11 and 11 hundredths. In this example, the large cube represents 110, the flat represents 11, the rod represents 110th, and the small cube represents 100th. Students investigate that each digit is 10 times the value of the digit in the place to its right. We can model this with base 10 blocks. Let's start by looking at the relationship between the one in the hundredths place and the one in the tenths place. If I multiply the hundredth cube by 10, we can see that it is the same size as the tenth rod. Therefore, the value of one tenth must be 10 times the value of one hundredth. Now let's look at the relationship between one tenth and one whole. If we multiply 1 tenth by 10, we can see that the value of 10 1 tenths is the same size as 1 whole. Therefore, the value of 1 whole must be 10 times the value of 1 tenth. Likewise, we can show the relationship between 1 and 10. If we multiply 1 by 10, we can see that 10 ones is equal to the value 
of 110. Therefore, the value of 10 must be 10 times the value of 1. We can also show that each digit is one-tenth the value of the place to its left. For example, 1 is one-tenth the value of 10 since the flat is only one-tenth the size of the large cube. One-tenth is one-tenth the value of 1 since the rod is one-tenth the size of the flat. Likewise, one-hundredth is one-tenth the value of a tenth. Students apply their knowledge of place value to understand that in the number 25,301 and 957 thousandths, the 5 in the thousandths place is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 or 100,000 times the value of the 5 in the hundredths place. Another way to think of this is 5 hundredths times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 equals 5,000 or 5 hundredths times 100,000 equals 5,000. Likewise, the 5 in the hundredths place is 1 tenth of 1 tenth of 1 tenth of 1 tenth of 1 tenth or 100 thousandth the value of the 5 in the thousands place. This can be thought of as 5,000 times 100 thousandth equals 5 hundredths or 5,000 divided by 100,000 equals 5 hundredths. In the next segment of the video, we will discuss how to read, write, and compare decimals to the thousandths place. In this standard, students build on their work from fourth grade where they worked with decimals and fractions interchangeably, represented decimals with base 10 blocks and grids, identified decimals on a number line, and compared decimals to the hundredths place by reasoning about their size. In fifth grade, students focus on reading and writing decimals to the thousandths place using base 10 numerals, number names, and expanded form. Let's look at an example. At this level, students should be able to verbally read the number as 4,862 and 593 thousandths. Students should also be able to write the number in word form. Notice that the word AND is only used at the location of the decimal point. Additionally, students should be able to recognize the value of each digit by its place value position and write the number in expanded form. For example, students should understand that since the 4 is in the thousands place, this is equivalent to 4 times 1,000. Students continue this process to show the value of the other digits as 8 times 100, 6 times 10, 2 times 1, 5 times 1 tenth, 9 times 1 hundredth, and 3 times 1 thousandth. This can also be written as 4,000 plus 800 plus 60 plus 2 plus 5 tenths plus 9 hundredths plus 3 thousandths. When comparing decimals, students will use the symbols greater than, less than, and equal to to compare two decimals to the thousandths place value position. Using a place value chart can assist students with comparing tenths to tenths, hundredths to hundredths, and thousandths to thousandths. Let's compare the numbers 1 and 375 thousandths and 1 and 357 thousandths. Both numbers have a 1 in the ones place and a 3 in the tenths place. However, 1 and 375 thousandths has a 7 in the hundredths place and 1 and 357 thousandths has a 5 in the hundredths place. 7 hundredths is greater than 5 hundredths. Therefore, 1 and 375 thousandths is greater than 1 and 357 thousandths. In the next part of the unit, students use place value understanding to round decimals up to the hundredths place. This standard extends students' knowledge from fourth grade where they used place value understanding to round multi-digit whole numbers to any place value position. Let's start by rounding the number 12 and 6 tenths to the nearest whole number. When counting, I know that 12 and 6 tenths is located between the whole numbers 12 and 13. I also know that 12 and 5 tenths is the midpoint between 12 and 13. When counting, 12 and 6 tenths is only 1 tenth more than 12 and 5 tenths, so 12 and 6 tenths is located at approximately this point on the number line. When rounding to the nearest whole number, numbers greater than 12 and less than 12 and 5 tenths 
will round to 12 since they are closer to 12 on the number line. Numbers equal to or greater than 12 and 5 tenths and less than 13 will round to 13. 12 and 6 tenths is closest to 13 on the number line, so 12 and 6 tenths rounded to the nearest whole number is 13. Now let's round the number 30 and 13 hundredths to the nearest tenth. First I need to determine where 30 and 13 hundredths is located on the number line. When counting, I know that 30 and 13 hundredths is located between 30 and 1 tenth and 30 and 2 tenths, and the midpoint between these two numbers is 30 and 15 hundredths. 30 and 13 hundredths is 2 hundredths less than 30 and 15 hundredths, so 30 and 13 hundredths is located at approximately this location on the number line. Because 30 and 13 hundredths is less than the midpoint, 30 and 13 hundredths rounded to the nearest tenth is 30 and 1 tenth. In another example, what is 28 and 589 thousandths rounded to the nearest hundredth? 28 and 589 thousandths is located between 28 and 58 hundredths and 28 and 59 hundredths on a number line. 28 and 585 thousandths is the midpoint between the two numbers. 28 and 589 thousandths is 4 thousandths more than 28 and 585 thousandths, so 28 and 589 thousandths is located at approximately this point on the number line. Since 28 and 589 thousandths is closest to 28 and 59 hundredths, 28 and 589 thousandths rounded to the nearest hundredth is 28 and 59 hundredths. What about numbers that are exactly halfway between two numbers? For example, 182 and 5 tenths is located exactly halfway between the whole numbers 182 and 183. Mathematicians agree that when a number is exactly halfway between two numbers, the number is rounded to the higher number. In our example, 182 and 5 tenths rounded to the nearest whole number is 183. The computation with decimal standard builds on the work from fourth grade where students are introduced to decimals and compare them. In fifth grade, students begin adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing decimals. This standard requires students to extend the models and strategies they developed for whole numbers in grades one through four to decimal values. This standard includes students' reasoning and explanations of how they use models, pictures, and strategies to find the answers to problems. Before students are asked to give exact answers, they should estimate their answers based on their understanding of operations and the value of numbers. At the fifth grade level, all operations with decimals are emphasized from a hands-on approach in order to develop understanding rather than relying on memorization of rules and procedures. At the sixth grade level, students focus on fluently adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing multi-digit decimals using the standard algorithm for each operation. In Unit 2, students focus on conceptually adding and subtracting decimals. In Unit 3, students will investigate concepts of decimal multiplication and division. Let's start by looking at an example of decimal addition. The first problem we will look at is 2 and 4 tenths plus 1 and 75 hundredths. Let's model this problem using base 10 blocks. Here I'm showing 2 and 4 tenths plus 1 and 75 hundredths. Just as we add like place values with whole number addition, I need to add like place value positions with decimals. I need to add hundredths to hundredths, tenths to tenths, and ones to ones. Five hundredths plus zero hundredths equals five hundredths. Four tenths plus seven tenths equals eleven tenths. Here I can regroup because I have a sum greater than ten tenths. So I'm going to take four tenths and six tenths to make a hole. I'm going to regroup to show a 1. And then I'm going to add my 1's. 1, 2, 3, 4. The sum is 4 and 15 hundredths. Students can also use a number line to represent decimal addition problems. Let's look at an example. Jake jumps 3 and 5 tenths yards on his first jump and 2 and 3 tenths yards on his second jump. How far did Jake jump altogether? First, I need to write an equation to represent the problem. 3 and 5 tenths plus 2 and 3 tenths. 
On the number line, I can show 3 and 5 tenths. I need to add 2 and 3 tenths. I can do this by decomposing the number 2 and 3 tenths into 2 plus 3 tenths or 1 plus 1 plus 3 tenths. If I add 1, I get a sum of 4 and 5 tenths. When I add another 1, I get a sum of 5 and 5 tenths. And then I add the 3 tenths to give a total of 5 and 8 tenths. Jake jumped 5 and 8 tenths yards all together. Now let's look at an example of a subtraction problem. 2 and 8 tenths minus 1 and 3 tenths. Just as with addition, we need to subtract like place value positions when subtracting. Here I am showing 2 and 8 tenths. I need to subtract 3 tenths from 8 tenths. And I need to subtract 1 from the two holes. I am left with 1 and 5 tenths. Therefore, 2 and 8 tenths minus 1 and 3 tenths has a difference of 1 and 5 tenths. Let's look at an example of 3 and 2 tenths minus 53 hundredths. We can model this problem using a pictorial representation. This representation shows 3 ones and 2 tenths. I need to subtract 53 hundredths from the representation. The red on the screen represents the 53 hundredths that is being subtracted from 3 and 2 tenths. If I count up the number of blue blocks that remain, I will find the difference. The model shows there are 2 and 67 hundredths left, so 3 and 2 tenths minus 53 hundredths equals 2 and 67 hundredths. A number line can also be used to represent subtraction problems. For example, a piece of red ribbon is 5 and 6 tenths meters long. A piece of blue ribbon is 1 and 7 tenths meters long. How much longer is the red ribbon than the blue ribbon? To find the difference between the length of the red ribbon and blue ribbon, I need to subtract 1 and 7 tenths from 5 and 6 tenths. On the number line, I found 5 and 6 tenths. If I subtract 1, I have a difference of 4 and 6 tenths. If I subtract 7 tenths more, I get a total difference of 3 and 9 tenths. Therefore, the red ribbon is 3 and 9 tenths meters longer than the blue ribbon. In Unit 2, students further their understanding of the place value system by recognizing that in a multi-digit number, a digit in one place represents 10 times as much as it represents to its right and one tenth of what it represents in the place to its left. Students also read, write, and compare decimals to the thousandths place and use their understanding of place value to round decimals up to the hundredths place. In the final part of the unit, students add and subtract decimals to the hundredths place using concrete models or drawings and strategies based on place value and the properties of operations. Thank you for your time. We know that when families and schools work together, student success increases please visit the Cobb County Math Department website for additional information and resources to support your student at home.